What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I have this 2010 Nissan 370Z Roadster, but this is not just an ordinary Nissan 370Z Roadster, and we'll go ahead and get to that in a second. But I'm out here in Scottsdale, Arizona, visiting my friends at JR Garage, and this is one of their amazing cars in their collection. I'll go ahead and put their description or their info in the description box below for you guys to check out. But like I said, this is a 2010 Nissan 370Z Roadster. Um, it is not an ordinary 370Z Roadster. It actually has a Gretti twin turbo kit on it. Makes 575 horsepower on 70 on seven pounds of boost on race gas. It is absolutely amazing. And uh, fun fact, the 370Z Roadster, I had a picture of this car on my wall uh, many years ago. This was one of my favorite cars growing up. It still is. I just love the way these things look um, and how they, you know, such a cool sports car with the top down and everything like that. The Z car is such a unique offering. So with that being said, I just want to show you guys this really cool car quickly. I don't have too much time with it, um, unfortunately, but any chance I get to check out a 370Z, I want to show you guys. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get on started. So 2010 Nissan 370Z Roadster, as I said a couple times, now it has the sport package. So you have these Rays uh, forged wheels right there. Very, very nice. It also gives you the Nissan or the Brem Brembo brakes uh, behind those wheels. And if we move to the rear, I love the uh, way the, the wheels look in the rear. They have a bit of a concave to them. Very, very nice. And if we move to the rear, I don't believe the Roadsters, the coupes with the sport package gave you like a nice little ducktail spoiler right here but this one because it's a roadster i believe didn't offer it as we continue along the rear you can see the gretty i believe this is actually yeah this is a gretty full exhaust system uh, with the blue <laughs> burnt tips at the end that looks very very cool and then if we go ahead and pop the trunk i actually have the key right here it's a proximity so you could just walk up and tap the a little sensor by the license plate and you can see actually very very good amount of storage especially for a small roadster like this you can definitely fit a set of golf clubs in there maybe two if you're lucky moving over to the passenger side the one thing about these cars that kind of bugged me it was how big the uh, fuel filler door is um it's just a huge circle i feel like they could have made that smaller but it's just something once you notice it you can't really get your eyes off of but other than that i love the profile of this car one thing i forgot to mention on the driver's side is this z logo actually illuminates i can see if i can do it with the key here but if you hit unlock there you go you can kind of see it behind the Z emblem, that's very nice. So under the hood of the 370Z, as the name would suggest, it has a 3.7 liter V6 uh, in stock form. It makes 333 horsepower, naturally aspirated. It's the VQ engine family from Nissan. So very, very popular in the aftermarket community. Um, like I said, this one is not stock. It has a Gretti twin turbo kit. You can see the intakes right there, as well as the piping for the front mount intercooler. Um, like I said in the intro, I think it makes around 570 horsepower to the wheels on seven PSI. These engines respond very very well to boost which is just crazy and as you can see i already pointed out some of the piping under here uh, but it looks mostly stock which would uh, kind of fool a lot of people into thinking this is just a uh, a normal 370z but once you start this thing up and give it a few revs it is just crazy sounding so let's go ahead and take a quick step in the 370z all modern z's uh, have this kind of sideways door handle you pull like that to open i think the 350z has it the new z has it and obviously the 370 um, because this is a touring sport uh, package, it has the kind of Alcantara on the door panel here with the uh, stitching and then obviously the full leather seats here and they are actually heated and cooled uh, with those dials right there. So let's go ahead and start the 370Z up. You can see it's just push button. You just put your foot on the brake and the clutch, hit the button. Just crazy, listen to that exhaust. ahead and give it a few revs there is a rev limiter at around 4500 rpm but you can hear a little bit of the turbos uh, start to spool up which sounds absolutely amazing inside the interior of the 370z there's not much actually to talk about this is a car from you know 2009 2010 so it is not the most modern thing but you can see very nice three-spoke steering wheel the triple gauge pod right there with the kind of analog dials and the dots for the fuel and the coolant temperature one z trademark is these three pods uh, on the top of the dashboard with the clock the voltage and the oil temperature and like i was saying because this is a sport touring you get the full navigation system you would normally have a binnacle that kind of closes and acts as, a, uh, as some storage and then the controls for the radio and the climate controls down here and then moving down this is the obviously the shifter for the six-speed manual it has a very very nice throw very short um, nice and kind of 
firm selection with whatever gear you're in, which is great. You have your hazard switch and the sport mode for the auto blip uh, for the transmission when you're downshifting. I already showed you guys the controls for the heated and cooled seats, and this is for the top. But other than that, guys, there's not much else to show you in this car. I'll give it a few more revs here. Let's go ahead and shut the car off here and conclude the video. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick look at this beautiful 2010 Nissan 370Z Roadster with a Gretti twin turbo kit. Huge thanks to my friends at JR Garage for allowing me to review this car. I'll have their info in the description, like I said. But if you did enjoy this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next one.